Here is my honey jar. Here it is. Hey friend, welcome to my channel, Karina Lude Mental Gems. This channel is dedicated to leveling up in every area of your life. So let us read together, learn together, but most importantly, grow together. This video is long overdue. Today we're talking about how I got rid of my parasites and what are parasites. So as you see, the number one way that I got rid of my parasites was to do fermented garlic with honey. And it wasn't just that, but that's what I did for like two weeks. I do not recommend doing that prolonged or long-term because garlic can kill a lot of bacteria in your body and also cause a lot of damage with good gut bacteria, also good cells. So I wouldn't recommend to do it for longer than two weeks. Some people do, they just over consume garlic like that, but I wouldn't recommend that. But I did it for two weeks and I was going to the restroom a lot. It did kill off a lot of things, I'll just say that. My you know bowels <laughs> you can kind of see this you could kind of see that there were things coming out okay nothing was alive of course and how did i get to this point for you guys i don't eat pork i don't eat shrimp which are known to have like parasites but i ate a lot of sushi raw sushi a lot a lot a lot i do eat kosher my religion so there's a lot of things i don't eat but sushi like i'd have my salmon not all the way cooked and every time i just love japanese food so much so i was always eating a lot of sushi and so most of my par my parasites came from the raw fish i know that has not been something that i continued having in my diet but you don't just get parasites from like sushi pork shrimp and uncooked undercooked steak where a lot of people like to eat their steak rare even medium rare is pushing it and countries where they like to cook their meat <laughs> like in Haiti medium rare is not a thing my friends always used to get at me for eating raw sushi or having a steak that's not well well done to the crisp and it's for a reason you know you don't just get it from those type of foods you can get it from not washing your fruits a lot of people do not wash their fruits when they get them. A hack that I have is when I buy fruits like apples, even my pineapples, I have a brush. I will brush them. I always wash them. I'll take my grapes, especially grapes. I will put them in warm water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and baking soda. Let them soak for like five to 10 minutes, you know, rinse them out thoroughly and then lay them out to dry. I know it seems time consuming to do something like that, but it really does help you to prevent uh, having parasites because a lot of them stay on your plants and fruits even if something says it's been triple washed like watercress I love watercress so when I purchase watercress I always get the ones that says triple washed and lettuce and I used to just be like it's triple washed so there's nothing until one day I went to prepare a salad and add some watercress in there and I saw a tiny bug in my triple washed watercress and I was like ew <laughs> So ever since then, I stick to the Haitian custom where how we clean our watercress is we clean it with limes and water and you know, you make sure you rinse it out thoroughly, you check it for bugs before eating, especially those greens like lettuce. If you're going to make your turnip greens, mustard greens or whatever, you're going to cook kale or spinach, always make sure you still wash it yourself when you purchase it, even if it says triple wash. And I know it seems time consuming, but every time you eat eat with care and eat with love and take care of your body because a lot of times we just want to get to the meal eat fast and in haste and not with love and not with care like we don't have the time to wash our fruits our, our vegetables and then we end up in situations that can be very harmful to us before I get into more of the details of what I do I want you guys to assess yourself to see if you possibly could have parasites and I took some notes here on my other phone where signs are abdominal pain, cramps, uncomfortable feeling, bloating, diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. If you constantly have diarrhea or you feel nauseous every now and then and vomiting, you may have it. Gas or bloating is a big thing. Every time you eat, you bloat no matter what you eat, even if you're eating healthy. Even if you take a sip of water, it's just like you balloon up <laughs> 10 pounds in your stomach. You just bloated, your skin is bloated, all of those are signs. If your stool has a lot of mucus and it's loose, a lot of people don't check their stools. Once you poop, you're always supposed to check your stool. Look at it, is it slimy or mucusy often when you poop? 
a lot of times those are signs that you have parasites living in you and then rash or itching around the rectum or vulva in haiti how we know if a kid has parasites is if they're you know around their rectum area it's very itchy and they itch it those are the worms around there or if you have itchy some itchy spots on your skin also ringworms etc all those things are parasites stomach pain or tenderness feeling tired was the biggest one for me when i knew i had parasite was because i would sleep for hours and still wake up tired i was fatigued easily i didn't have the same stamina i was always very athletic in school but of course my first year of college i became very sedentary doing a lot of schoolwork and also when i started working corporate it was a very sedentary job i was just sitting in an office all the time i wasn't working out as much or moving my body and i was ordering takeout like i said sushi and stuff like that i used to attribute my tiredness to just the weight gain and the lack of care that I was putting in myself but no uh, it came from the parasites also which doesn't even it, it takes away the motivation for you to work out or even eat healthy and avoid certain sugary products so if you feel like you're just always fatigued no matter what you do you always need a cup of coffee or an energy drink you might want to check up on that next is weight loss and weight gain so it can do there's different types of parasites and worms there's like hook worms ring worms regular like there's just a different variety and they each have their own symptoms and side effects typically most of them have similar side effects and symptoms but for me the ones the parasites I had gained made me gain weight and I had an insatiable appetite for sweets and I never was a person who ate sugar growing up I hated sweets up until college I noticed I just developed a taste for like chocolate and cakes and I was never a person that liked juice so it was very strange to me but because of that not only for some people in Hollywood they'll swallow a tapeworm so that they can lose their appetites like if you have tapeworms it can make you skinny where you think you're healthy because you're skinny but you're really skinny and you're eating a lot because you have tapeworms and there's people who have different types of parasites where it does the opposite it makes them gain weight they multiply very fast they lay eggs and multiply very fast so your stomach just hangs out like you're almost pregnant and they're just all over inside of your body which kind of just makes you bloated you're yeah it's just uh, so icky to think about right next is passing worms in your stool I don't know any adults but when you were kids in Haiti if you had worms they gave you like um syrup that just made you poo them out all alive or whatever but if you notice slimy dead stuff every time you eat something healthy coming out of your you know stool typically you have worms some ways that you can have worms also like i said is not just from meat but also living in dirty spaces or living in areas where there's worms like if you go to a landfill 10 out of time you're going to have some form of parasites if you don't wash your dishes often and you let them have bugs maggots and things like that or you let your fruits get really fuzzy in your fridge you don't clean out your fridge often you don't clean out your space you will have bugs there's such a thing as bed bugs that's why you have to deodorize and clean your furniture especially if you have like white furniture like mine i'm always deodorizing my furniture always cleaning unzipping washing and things and getting new pillows often and washing your bed sheets often just staying in a clean space because there's bed bugs everywhere i'm not trying to make anyone like a germaphobe but it's very uncleanly to just have your dishes like do not sleep with dishes roaches and all of those things they carry they carry just the most horrific illnesses to our bodies and we don't think about that a lot of people will go months without mopping their floor their kitchen floor and when you're cooking you drop stuff often even if you wipe that part off there's oils and different scents and everything on your sinks your counters and stuff so make sure when you clean you do at least a deep clean once a week especially if you're busy you can't afford an, uh, a maid or anything like that do a deep cleaning once a week where you mop you wipe down your counters you clean inside of your um, sink and all of those things your bathroom any place that is hot and humid like your closets you I have moth balls like it's these balls that you put into your closet that kills moths and um, books like in my library I have a lot of books so they have these bookworms or book bugs or whatever it's like these bugs that can come when you're not flipping through the pages all the time and stuff so they're 
there's things you can buy that are natural like peppermint scented oils I have peppermint diffusers in each room in my house so that you know peppermint keeps bugs away and I have different things to keep certain bugs just out of my space you know making sure you take care of that at least once a week if you have kids make it fun teach them make it educational because um, cleanliness was something that I just had to learn really young also so keeping your space really clean also international travel can cause that especially if you're eating street food it can get very messy you have dirt pollutants bugs from the outside just getting into the food and that's why when you eat street food oftentimes every time I travel I eat street food I get a little sick so I'm always prepared for that um, with my medications and stuff <laughs> especially in some places where even in hotels they're not always as clean as you think they are just make sure you keep your space clean and airplanes all of those things also poor sanitation for both food and water is also a thing like please clean your fruits, clean your vegetables. If you're making meats like poultry, fish, or if you, steaks or whatever, you have them in your sink and you didn't disinfect with Clorox and things like that to make sure if there's blood, you're defrosting, you're not chopping off your fresh vegetables with the same knife that you just cut up your poultry and you didn't even disinfect it. And then you go cut up a fruit and you're eating it. All of those things, like please disinfect your knives wash not just with dish soap i will let them soak in clorox like i just don't play ever since i figured this thing out in adult years <laughs> i'm like listen i will not play with that poor hygiene also is a thing i'm not gonna tell people what to do with their body go to dermatologists etc but a lot of people from their skin you can tell they have parasites um just from the bumps and raises and the oily pigmentations and all so many things you can tell the health of someone just from what they eat i suffered from pcos because i was eating pretty bad okay and it does cause that even if you have good hygiene so i'm not saying that but there are some people that it's not pcos it's not that it's just just poor hygiene you know your hands are dirty you don't wash your hands before you eat you don't wash your hands after using the restroom and then you're touching your face you're touching your mouth you're rubbing your eyes you're touching food all of those things spread bacteria spread parasites so always wash your hands at the end of the day wash your feet when you've been outside and even your clothes if you sat on chairs etc it's a thing I know all of this sounds very time-consuming and annoying to people who are very lazy <laughs> I'll say that but it keeps you good if you came from outside please do not take your outside clothes and just go lay on your bed or your couch especially if you're a nurse especially if you're a doctor especially if you like a cook or you work in sanitation jobs government jobs etc or even if you're a teacher you work with kids all day etc your shoes should be taken off since the front door take off your outside clothes if you've been out all day put it in the hamper right away shower yourself or cleanse yourself wash your hands at least wash your face wash your your feet you know those are the three main things you can wash which takes me to the next which is children and the elderly are more likely to get infected and we know why elderly tend to if they can't take care of themselves as well um, you know you know it can get you know and then children are never going to be sanitary they're not going to wash themselves thoroughly so those are the two people more prone because of hygiene so i worked at an assisted living facility where we were around them and you can just see like it's 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 you got to keep yourself up this is why i said i worked at a school before and i worked at a facility i worked everywhere <laughs> and you have to remain very hygienic when you work in those places because you could easily you know and you have to take care remind kids to go wash your hands next is having a weakened immune system your body cannot fight out parasites and bacteria as well so boost up your immunity with your diet and make sure that you eat properly but this is also something that can easily make you have parasites but of course there's doctors that prescribe medication to get rid of parasites if you go to your gi doctor or gastrointestinal gastrointestinal gastroenterologist <laughs> I can never get this word right but I went to my GI doctor um, for IBS I thought it was that because worms can make you give you IBS like symptoms also and you want to be careful with that irritable bowel syndrome and so when you go to your GI they may prescribe you medication that just gets rid of them but if you want to do more the natural way I suggest that 
I don't know. I just like to try natural first before I take medication and just cleanse that out. But another way is to avoid simple carb refined foods, fruit juices, dairy products, and all sugars except honey. Honey is really good if you have, it's one of the only things if you have parasites that won't because I garlic and honey obviously, but the keto diet, a lot of times people feel very sick on it. Sometimes, yeah, you are losing a lot of electrolytes, but you're irritating your parasites also because you're cutting off sugar and that's why you can't stay in it. Worms love sugar, they love carbs, they love refined foods, they love pastas and breads and things like that. That's why you create the burgers and stuff. And once you clean out your parasites, like once I got rid of my parasites, I started craving those things less. A few things that you can eat are raw garlic, pumpkin seeds, pomegranate, beets and carrots, papaya, honey. Drink a lot of water to flush your system out and clove tea. Not only is clove tea, you could put it in your hair, but you can also drink it and it kills parasites. Any bitter herbs like watercress, like spinach, kale, um, you know, they get rid of those. Just avoid as much as you can. Anything that's packaged, processed, that's not God made. I would even go as far. I just recently, it's been about a month where I started avoiding hybrid foods and just eating food that were originally made from God that were not cultivated by men. And that really changes the game for you. It just calms you all the way down. Even with anxiety, I suffered with anxiety a lot starting from college and stress. And I'm just so mellowed out and chill. <laughs> it makes no sense, but I have energy as mellowed out and chill as I am. Whereas I had to be on medication to be this mellow and chill and I'm just there naturally. And then you cleanse your system. And if you're having meats, you can go to an Amish market. You can go to an even Jewish market. They'll, you know, where you know where your eggs are coming from, you know where your meats is coming from. And it's just more natural how it was intended to be. And you eat, not packaged like don't go and buy the Publix brand of meats and eggs and stuff and whole, uh, whole foods is owned by amazon now and whole foods has been compromised a lot by people there's seedless grapes cotton candy grapes all those things are hybrids they're very mucus forming in the body and they don't really serve a purpose but there's a lot of sites online that are paid for by these big companies that will lie to you and tell you of all their benefits and scientists as probably even in this comment section that will argue you down. But I have people that I that are my family that's been sickly, that went on alkaline diets, that avoided hybrid foods. And even biblically, it talks about not mixing seeds and having hybrids. If you're a spiritual person, go learn about the biblical diets and things to avoid. Because of my religion, I'm naturally in there. So be careful of looking online, like Karina is just talking mumbo jumbo, and kind of avoid those things to cleanse out your body. Also, probiotics natural probiotics you can take that also eat a lot of onions also onions help with kill that and it has sulfur in it which is going to be a bonus for your nails hair and skin so with that said i hope you guys on your journey to overcome the parasites they can make you want to end your own life they can make you very depressed mentally foggy lose your memory snappy at people just put you in a bad unmotivated mood they can alter you so much they can make you more violent they can even make you want to take other people out so worms can are creepy little things that really control a lot of what we do and i wish more people just knew that they understood that and they would take more heed to take care of themselves i love you guys so much share with someone that needs this share with your communities and just look up more on youtube how to get rid of this more go down that rabbit hole okay and go to your gi doctor of course i'm not a doctor i'm just giving you guys things that worked for me i love you guys so much thank you for tuning in until next time Mwah.